Good morning. It is 9.30 a.m. Friday, November 11th, 2016. This is Johnny No Surf, lifeafternet.com. How are you doing? It's been a while since I did a podcast. I do apologize for that. Uh, good folks on the internet. But uh, I've been busy. I'll tell you about what, uh, some of my uh, my other projects I got going on. But before I start this podcast, uh, let me say it is uh, November 11th. Um, I'm going to go do a uh, Remembrance Day service, of course, uh, here in Canada. Uh, I encourage everyone who has any time off work or, you know, just find a way to pay your respects. There are a lot of uh, services for veterans, uh, events going on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just whatever country you're in, you know, if you enjoy, if you enjoy freedom, uh, thank a veteran and, uh, that's all I'll say about that. But, you know, there are a lot of families who've had, um, who have had, you know, people who paid the, the ultimate sacrifice or, uh, came back with, uh, PTSD, uh, anything like that. I had an uncle, a grand uncle, a great uncle, my, my grandfather's brother. He, uh, he came back and, uh, you know, he had a, he was part of a bombing campaign, uh, in the Pacific. And when he came back, he, uh, he had, he had a lot of blood on his hands and, uh, he had a very hard time living with that. And, uh, ultimately he did, he did, uh, take his own life. Um, after coming back, he, uh, he didn't like having that on his conscience, but that being said, pay your respects. Thank a veteran. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, this podcast is eight reasons I love my flip phone. <laughs> kind of hard to jump like that, but I think it's important. I just saw something uh, that by Canadian Libertarian. I'll link to the video in the description, and his title is, um, let me get this title right, Suicide's Second Leading Cause of Death in Younger Canadians. Suicide is real, and... Uh, I know there's one guy at work, I, I work at a factory, um, and there's one guy who's definitely an internet addict, and he definitely uh, experiences uh, some sh- some shitty moods because of it, so uh, I, I think this podcast is important um, for people who have internet addiction, uh, people who are coping with porn addiction, even if it's not addiction, let's just call it a compulsion, let's call it a bad habit, it still affects people's mood and, uh, you know, I do what I can, so I'm out here rooting for you guys, even if nobody else is. <laughs> okay, so, uh, eight reasons I love my flip phone. One, it fits in my pocket really easy. It fits in any pocket, front pockets, jacket pockets. I like, uh, this flip phone, man, it fits anywhere. Um, so. Two, no eye strain. So that was something I didn't even realize that I had from the smartphone was eye strain, and I only realized. When I started using the slip phone, I was like, wow, my eyes feel a lot better. I didn't realize how tired my eyes felt. And um, I was abusing my eyes, man, because, like, I weld for about five hours a day in the morning. You know, I go to welding school. So I weld for about five hours. And then I run off to the gym. And, uh, you know, sometimes the bright lights, you know, and, like, driving, driving without sunglasses. And uh, then I would work in a factory for eight hours. And then I would only sleep like four hours. And like my eyes would be so dry and so fucking tired. But this flip phone really helps. It really helps. See how eye strain gets rid of a lot of the eye strain, which is great. I didn't even know I had that problem. So, um, I mean, give it a try. And if your eye strain, if you realize you had eye strain and your eyes feel a lot better, there you go. Uh, Don't take my word for it. Try it out. Three, uh, it's boring, man. This flip phone is very boring. If I'm on break, if I'm on lunch, uh, I can't really look at it because one, it's a flip phone. I don't like pulling it out. I usually leave it in my car, to be honest. Um, but two, it's boring, man. There's no games on here. Texting's a pain. I just call people most of the time. I just can't handle the text, the T9 text. <laughs> so if you want to build your conversation skills, uh, definitely the flip phone will help because you will have some uh, some boring conversations out of nothing, but it'll still be a lot more entertaining uh, than a flip phone. 
Okay, number four. I'm not worried about it getting stolen, man. This flip phone, although I did pay a little too much for it, I probably paid 70 bucks. Pretty embarrassing amount for this flip phone, but I wanted it. It was when I was uh, I was out of town, I was in school, and I just, I was, it was right when the Freedom app stopped working on my smartphone. They just dropped all services for Android. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I need a solution and I need it now. So I, you know, I usually do, th I usually err on the side of being bold and determined. Thanks to boldeddetermined.com, of course. I always shout out Uncle Vic. But, yeah, I just went right to the mall. And uh, I think I was with Kudu or Virgin at the time. So I went to that store. And I said, look, I want a flip phone. Uh, give me this one. Give me this one. Yeah. I just paid for it. And uh, I did use an adapter SIM. It's like, a, it's like a big SIM with like a little SIM in it. But I think they gave that to me for free. Maybe it was 10 bucks. The point is... I made the decision, I got the flip phone, and I've been switching back and forth between a smartphone and a flip phone ever since, and uh, for probably the past month, I've been rocking this flip phone, and I love it. Um, it's an Al Alcatel One Touch, if any of you guys are looking for a recommendation, Alcatel One Touch, A-L-C-A-T-E-L -E One Touch. Um, six, oh, I'm sorry, point five, it's durable. Um, I've dropped it. I've banged it off stuff. Uh, flip phones, the internals are a lot more durable than a smartphone. Um, the camera sucks. Um, I don't even know if it can record videos, but I don't need it to, man. It's a flip phone. This is a means of communication, mostly phone calls and it stores some contacts and I have an alarm for the morning, but I also have an, I bought a physical alarm clock, a good one. I had to go to Walmart and spend like 30 bucks. I got like a $12 one at Canadian Tire, and it was shit. It broke right away. The $30 one is really good. So I use an alarm clock, a physical alarm clock, and I use a little alarm on my on this flip phone. But I usually, I set it 10 minutes after. So I usually wake up to the, the first alarm, and I just cancel the second alarm on the flip phone. Uh, I definitely recommend that to anybody who's waking up with a smartphone and then is then stuck staring at the smartphone because that's what used to happen to me i'd wake up to my alarm and then i'd spend the first 10 minutes on bullshit on my smartphone um i don't have that problem anymore because i wake up to a an alarm clock and then i uh i just usually cancel the flip phone alarm because i'll be awake sometimes it catches me but okay i'm rambling i'm doing this one shot no edit i don't care i just want to get this out because you guys have been without a podcast for a couple months now so uh, number six, the battery lasts forever. It lasts days. I can literally go days without charging it. Um, that's also because I'm not, it's not open very often and I can check the time just by clicking the side button. <laughs> and for a lot of people, the phone is just a fucking clock, uh, a lot of the time. So, you know, the battery lasts days and you know, every once in a while I'll charge it. Number seven, uh, I can't pretend to work on my online businesses i can't pretend i'm doing something productive when i obviously am not so obviously i run uh lifeafterinternet.com i also run moonchimps.com which is a web comic that's what i've been working on the past uh month and a half or so uh so i do web comics and i do basically this podcast and articles and some youtube videos but uh i don't like doing them they're not my uh my forte so if I have a smartphone, I can't, I'm not tech, I'm not like, I can put notes in it, obviously, but like, I'm not writing articles on a smartphone and I'm not like, I like writing with a, to be honest, I like writing with a pencil on paper for a rough draft and then I'll add more as I type it up on my laptop. So I'm not, I'm not writing great articles on a smartphone. Uh, and I'm not doing a podcast on a smartphone, but sometimes I like to think I'm working this was a few months ago, but like, you have your smartphone and okay, I'll get on the Wi-Fi and I'll, I'll, I'll work. Oh yeah. I'm just, I'm just going to putz around and, oh, let me check my YouTube views. Let me check my podcast views. That's not doing work. That's like basically just, you know, edict stuff. Like, oh, I wonder how many views I got. Like, you know, that's ego stuff. That's not, that's not building and working for you great people. Uh, and that's not even providing entertainment like I do on, on Moonshims. Uh, that's just like fucking waste of time like i don't know so i'm glad i i can't i can't check my views at all ever for anything basically unless i go on my laptop 
And if I pull them, I keep my laptop in the fucking back of the house, uninsulated. It's fucking just laying on top of a box. I got the charger in my trunk, and then my smartphone stays out there too, uh, usually dead out there in the in the back of the house. It's fucking uninsulated and cold back there, and <laughs> it's fucking November at this point, so I don't even want to go back there. So I really have no idea what my traffic's like or analytics. I just care about creating quality content and the traffic will come in a few years so i don't even care i just want to put out quality content for you guys whatever it'll figure itself out and number eight so this was the original reason for the smartphone number eight i can't watch porn on it that was the original reason for the smartphone and if you're getting a smartphone just for that reason you're going to be embarrassed about the smartphone and you're going to be kind of ashamed of the smartphone and you're going to the, i'm sorry the flip phone you're going to be embarrassed about your flip phone you're going to be ashamed of your of your flip phone and you're going to feel like the only reason you have it is because there's something wrong with you that you have a porn addiction i gotta tell you that's not true i just outlined seven other reasons why having a flip phone is actually awesome and i recommend it to everybody maybe not as a daily phone not as a daily driver but have both and uh switch back and forth as you feel fit as you see fit and uh you know maybe just do two or three days with a flip phone and then switch back and you know, maybe a week later, you switch back just for a day, you know, it's a Saturday and you want to spend time with your family or you want to get a lot of work done or something. I get a lot more work done in my free time now that I have a flip phone instead of a smartphone, that's for sure. That could even be reason nine. I get a lot more work done. It kind of ties in with the, you know, I can't pretend to work and instead I actually, actually relax and then actually work. There's no in-between fuzziness. Um, so Yeah. So I want to give you guys that podcast. I hope everything's going great with you guys. Our no surf is now at 4,000 people. And uh, I think that's great, man, because when I first got there, it was at 500. So now it's at 4,000. That's uh, eight times. That's 800% growth in you know, a few short years. So people can shit on it and say, oh, 4,000 is nothing. But uh, 800% bigger than 500. Keep that in mind. 800% growth in just a few years. So, uh. You know, think about that for a bit. Maybe you can have your own no surf podcast or, you know, go out there, make a podcast, make a website, help uh, make the community great. (laughs) Make it great. All right. Uh, God bless. I love all you guys and girls and uh, have fun out there in brick and mortar land. This is Johnny No Surf, lifeafterinternet.com. God bless. Thank you.